good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on, you know, where you are in this world. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we will be in the book of Proverbs and the Old Testament in the King James Version of the Holy Bible, chapter 10. The Proverbs of Solomon. A wise son maketh a, maketh a glad father, but a foolish son is the heaviness or grief of his mother. Treasures of wickedness profit nothing, but righteousness delivereth from death. The Lord will not suffer the soul of the righteous to famish, but he casteth away the substance or the desire of the wicked. He becometh poor that dealeth with a slack hand or negligent hand, but the hand of the diligent maketh rich. He that gathereth in summer is a wise son, but he that sleepeth in the harvest is a son that causeth shame. Blessings are upon the head of the just or the righteous, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. The memory of the just is blessed, but the name of the wicked shall rot. The wise in heart will receive commandments, but a prating or a babbling fool or foolish lips, but a prating fool shall fail or be ruined, be thrust down. He that walketh uprightly walketh surely, but he that perverteth, perverteth his ways shall be known. He that winketh with the eye causeth sorrow or trouble, but a prating fool shall fall, a babbling fool. The mouth of a righteous man is a well of of life, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. Hatred stirreth up stripes, hatred stirreth up stripes, but love covereth all sins. In the lips of him that hath understanding, wisdom is found, but a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. Are devoid of understanding. Wise men lay up knowledge, but the mouth of the foolish is near destruction. The rich man's wealth is his strong city. The destruction of the poor is their poverty. The labor of the righteous tendeth to life, or leads to life. The fruit are the wages of the wicked to sin. He is the way of life that keepeth instruction, but he that refuseth reproof erreth or goes astray. He that hideth hatred with lying lips, and he that uttereth a slander is a fool. In the multitude of words there wanteth not sin, but he that refraineth his lips is wise or restrains his lips. The tongue of the just is as choice silver. The heart of the wicked is little worth. The lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for want of wisdom, or for lack of wisdom, lack of heart. The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich, and he addeth no sorrows with it. No sorrow with it. It is as sport to a fool to do mischief or evil. But a man of understanding hath wisdom. The fear of the wicked, it shall come upon him. But the desire of the righteous shall be granted. As the whirlwind passeth. So is the wicked no more, but the righteous is an everlasting foundation. As
as vinegar to the teeth and as smoke to the eyes, so is the slugger to them that send him. The fear of the Lord prolongeth days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. The way of the Lord is strength to the upright, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. The righteous shall never be moved, but the wicked shall not inhabit the earth. The mouth of the just bringeth forth wisdom, but the forward are perverse. Tongue shall be cut out. The lips of the righteous know what is acceptable, but the mouth of the wicked speaketh, speaketh for, forwardness or perversity. Solomon was so wise, so gifted from God. You know, he received his wisdom because when his father David died and he became king, he um, was talking with God and, and God asked him what did he want. And Solomon said he wanted the wisdom to rule the people. And God said, because you asked for wisdom and you didn't ask for riches and long life, I'm going to add all that to you. So he blessed him with like everything <laughs> and wisdom to rule the people. I thought, you know, that was a very wise choice. And as always, <laughs> I love you.